Good evening, everyone. Thank you. Welcome to the Pat Brown Institute's 34th Annual Awards Dinner. My name is Mark Brown. I work for ABC7 Eyewitness News, and I have covered California politics, among so many other things, for many years. And it is my great privilege to be with you here again at the Pat Brown Institute's annual awards dinner. That's better. This side of the room is so orderly. That side of the room, a little less so. I believe Governor Pat Brown would be very proud of the institute that bears his name. As many of you know, Governor Pat Brown created the California State University System and personally selected Cal State LA as the home for his institute. The PBI continues to preserve Pat Brown's political and social legacy, especially with this evening's theme, Rebooting Civic Education, which was one of the pillars of Governor Pat Brown's career. Governor Pat Brown believed that enlightened civic engagement was critical to California's quality of life, and we believe that civic engagement begins with civic education. Please turn your attention to our screens for a brief video from our students. The topic we're going to be discussing today is um, youth centers for low-income communities. Um, I'm a resident from Boyle Heights, and I struggle in many ways after school because sometimes I need help in my homework, and I want to escape the school environment. Um, another struggle would be not having any job opportunities due to that I come from a low-income community, and I'm always relying on my parents. I wanted to tell you guys about my friend Brian, who at the age of 16 struggles a lot in school and at home. I personally have, have sports and music, but Brian doesn't find refuge in school or even at home. Unfortunately, as a result, he was exposed to the only people that kept calling out on him, gang members. He now lies in a cemetery, and this is why I want to implement a youth center. We chose this issue because it is a constant problem that we have in our schools. So. The metro is right in front of my school, so when we come out, the kids just run to the metro, and they don't pay, they just go in. And we conducted a survey in Mendes High School, and 63% out of 80 students do not know that the school offers tap cards. So um, we did interviews. Um, our other teammates, they did an interview with the Metro Community Relations Officer. And apparently, um, the verification of, of school IDs was very complicated because some officers do accept it, some don't. So as a result, some students don't get to ride the bus home, or they just have to walk like the long distance. The policy that we want to pose is to have a student representative because you have all these adults um, as representatives, but we wanted to create um, student like a, to have student funding policies so that they could have a, a say in what would be convenient for them also. This film was made by PBI's high school leaders in the Youth Enrichment Policy Project, whose efforts are supported by the California Endowment. And it's a wonderful reminder of the importance of civic education. So tonight, we proudly honor these very special individuals who have brought public attention to civic education in our public schools, helped inform working people of the nature of political and governmental systems so that their voices can be heard, brought California history and Pat Brown's story to life for a new generation, and designed an innovative media strategy for the purpose of engaging people of all ages in the political process. They are a dynamic group of honorees, and we look forward to recognizing them tonight. First, please join me in giving a warm thank you to our dinner sponsors who helped make this event a success, in fact, helped make it happen. Our gold sponsor, Edison International.
Our silver sponsor, Annenberg Foundation, AT&T, Kaiser Permanente. I should be able to say that. Yes. Kaiser Permanente, Southern California Gas Company. Our bronze sponsors, ABC7, IBEW Local Number 47, the California Endowment, the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California, and Charlie Wu. That's not all the sponsors. Please see your program. There's a complete list, as you can see here. And uh, although we, of course, value the contributions that our sponsors have made to tonight's event, please know that every bit of uh, donations, of resources that are donated to PBI help keep Pat Brown's legacy alive for all Californians. So to that end, we have a donation table that is set up in the foyer. Uh, I encourage you to make your, uh, your investment in rebooting civic education tonight and or later using the QR code on your program to do that. <laughs> 